So I picked up this quad a few days ago, because it was very cheap. Uh, it's 110 cc. Link uh, Lofum is the make of it. It's identical to the Lincoln and Lifan Chinese mix. It's a four-speed manual, and it's also well semi-automatic, but it does have manual gears, and it has it's four-stroke as well. So I'm just going to take it apart, just clean down the frame and paint. It's pretty rusty, and then we have to rewire it and get it running. So the first step in taking off the plastics is to take off the seat. There's a the catch on top of the tail lamp. And there should be four bolts in this. There aren't on this one. I'm going to pull it all off. And same with the front, there should be lots of bolts holding it on. It's very easy to take off. But there aren't. fuel tank, to go off the bolt that's here and at the front, and to go off the pipe out with them already done. Next thing I'm going to take off is the two foot rests. Um, thankfully all the bolts in this are metric, so they're generally 13 and 10 millimeter being the most common. I think they're all actually 13 and 10. So there's four bolts to hold on this. two tires now so we can take off the four wheels. These are 13 mil bolts again thankfully. <coughs> now gonna remove the back swing axle, swing arm. Uh, first you disconnect the pipe from the caliper. It's 12 millimeter banjo bolt. Cold. If you don't want all the fluid to leak out, you can just take off the caliper. It's two bolts, two 10 mil bolts to back. Doesn't matter to me because I'm replacing the brake handle anyway. That's, that's off, yeah. And there's this big bolt that goes the whole way through. But before that, we're going to take off the spring. Looks like a 17 mil. Far side is a 13 mil. So now the back swing arm is free. Or from this big bolt. Do. Nineteen mil. When you have a bolt like this, a long bolt, and it's just going to spin endlessly. What you can do is get a large spanner. Jab it in here and push outwards as you're spinning. And it'll come off. Just looking out. Lift off the chain. Turn back axle off. Now it's time to take off the engine. So we have two cables on the carburetor, the choke and the main throttle. So I've taken both those off and put some tape over the hole that the throttle cable was into, just to prevent any dirt getting down into the jet. And then there's also the wire that goes from the solenoid to the starter motor, which we'll take off now.
So now there's just these two mounting brackets here. And they have two bolts to go the whole way through. So we're going to loosen those off. 13 millimeter again. So we can now put our engine forward and hopefully straight out. So that's our frame pretty much stripped. We've got an engine, all our wheels, all the plastics, our foot guards, our rear axle, chain, exhaust, springs. I'm going to leave the rest of them for now, but uh, it's fairly straightforward to strip the front suspension and take off all the wires if you need.